are we going, Lauren? We are going in our van for a small two-night trip because that's all we're really allowed to do. Um, and I've got to go to work on Tuesday. Tuesday. So, yeah, that's it. We're going away for two days. Somewhere. Just chill and read a book and drink some wine, cook. What else? Relax. Fishing. fishing. Very exciting. The van to face the river. After I don't know how many months, I mean a long time without traveling because of obviously the the, the pandemic situation around the I mean everywhere. So we have decided to come here to this lovely place for to spend two nights. It's gonna be two nights in here and yeah, just chill, have some drinks, read a book, go for walks, that kind of thing. Maybe some fishing. Maybe some fishing. I'm very good at fishing. I always get lucky when I do it. Let's see. Um, so, cheers. cheers. Where's my car? I have water. Okay, see you later. Why are you not catching any fish? You think it's the problem is the bait? Well, French fish don't like cheese. <laughs> yeah, but it was a very nice cheese. It was. Don't like cheese. Hmm. There's no eels either. The worms. I need worms. I've got worms. <laughs> On your belly. <laughs> mm. So no trout. Yeah, my rods are not big enough. No trout. No fish. The bait is wrong. They don't like cheese. Okay. Yeah, probably. <laughs> they're not bread, they're not cheese, they're not They are foreigners. Yeah. They are they are not French fish, so Are you cold, Lawrence? Yes. Very freezing. <laughs> <laughs> you look very cute.
baby Lawrence. They're all optimists because most of them catch nothing, but they spend all day trying. <laughs> well, that's the fun about fishing, isn't it? It's just to be there fishing. Look at that old moulin. It might have been here for, I mean, ages. It's very old. Medieval. Someone is very cold. It feels like it's been a long winter. We are cooking our dinner now. It's going to be pasta. Because pasta is quite easy. Um, and it's very cold outside. We wanted to have an outside dinner, but no. Pa. Pa de dinner. Um, so yeah, we're going to cook in here, pasta, have some wine, uh, I'll be having wine, you won't. Why not? It's my wine. My wine. What is yours is mine. What is mine is mine. Mm, Can, uh, <laughs> you are so annoying, always criticizing me. I'm not always criticizing you. You're just drunk. Where's the screen door? Why can't I not see anything? Because the screen is there. Oh. <laughs> Can you see me now? No. Is it possible to see the boat? No. no. Okay, we call my beautiful pasta making. Why is it not switching? Why is it not switching? I don't know. Oh, it's getting hot. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Right. Can you record smells? It smells good. Yeah. Depends. <laughs> That's not no, your fault. It's going to be your, the best bone-like dinner ever. Mm. Sure, I've had that before. Mm. Bye -bye.
What are you reading? No? I'm going to start this one. It's called A Year in Provence. Let's see. You're a bit wonky in it at the moment. Yeah. It's nice. We are going to have a barbecue, so I'm going to prepare a salad. I was just reading a book about Provence and they say their salads, they fry um, bread with loads of uh, garlic and olive oil. So I'm going for you. <laughs> I think it's going to taste good. And yeah, I have already prepared some of my ingredient and voila let's cook olive oil Beautiful salad. Good morning internet. Welcome to our channel. If you haven't seen us before, we are Cockle Van and this is Alex and I'm Lawrence. And we are here at a place called Shallow Set. It's an old ruined medieval castle. It's up on the hill. I don't know if you can see that. And we're going to pay it a visit. We're in the centre of France right now and we're just having a small weekend away in this beautiful spot. Um, we can't go too far because of obviously Covid and the lockdown. But uh, we make the most of the days that we can get. And we're going to take you around to the castle, do a few drone shots. Um, and have a look and we'll talk to you later. castle was destroyed in 15th century 14th, I 14th century uh, because it was by the town of Limoges because it was full of robbers and robber knights robber barons that raided in the local area so the, the town had it destroyed but uh, it was a luxury castle apparently it was um, built in the 12th century 13th century by the Bishop Il Chaud. Built by the Bishop. 
Yeah. And then in 1369 it was attacked by the English. <laughs> the English and the French, they never stopped fighting. Um, in 1539, yeah, the townspeople of Limoges secured its demolition. And it was used in the Hundred Years Old War as well. Yeah. Very interesting. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful spot. <laughs> what river is this one? This is the, on the right is the Briance, and on the other side of the hill is the, oh, I can't remember its name now, and they meet at the end over here. Are we going up there? Well, yeah, I want to <coughs> do some drone shots if I can. Need to get a bit nearer, really. It's very energetic of you, darling. A lot of stairs. Oh. It's not good for my knee, this. So unfit after lockdown. Oh. I'm tired. I'm you need to go jogging every day. Oh, made it. Top of the steps. Oh dear. Ed. Yes. Sorry. Now there we go. Part of the castle. Yeah. There's a huge tower just here which you can go to the top of and uh, yeah there's a lot more stairs but the views from up there are fantastic. Oh dear, I need to exercise more. Oh. We do love it here in France, it's a beautiful country amazing places to see so much history still surviving well this one isn't this one's been destroyed but there we go oh. no wonder this was a secure place Gatehouse. Uh. Oh, no, it was a chapel. Chapel, apparently. La Chapelle. Looks like it's shut. Oh well. Right, drone shots.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that drone footage. I nearly crashed it. Oh well. Uh, but um, yeah, lost, sig lost signal as well between us and the camera, so it kind of disappeared for a bit between us and the drone. It's uh, an amazing castle. It's got uh, several layers of fortifications. So you've got all those ones around the castle, but also the whole hill is defensive, and that's what this tower was. It was a lookout post as well. More defensive. <laughs> Always on her phone. Uh, it's a beautiful spot. Absolutely love it here. We're going to walk down past the tower. I don't think we're allowed in there because of COVID restrictions. Um, but we'll go down past it. They've actually got a viewing platform at the top. Up there. You can see that. Um, and yeah, metal staircase going all the way up on the inside that they built. But down here, where we're going now, is where all the living quarters were for the soldiers. Yeah, closed. Yeah, yeah it's quite tall. Quite big. Well, it's nice to have things that are open <laughs> at the moment. And everything's outside. It's a beautiful day. It's going to be 22, 24 degrees today. Amazing. Uh, we also do some works. The house. Uh, House of the Knights. Yeah. Sounds like they're streaming. Cool. It's really interesting. Yeah, so here we are amongst the living quarters. Uh, for the stations for the for the soldiers, I suppose the barracks really. Obviously, the castle up there would have been for the the lord and the people like that. Village Castrum. Twenty families of the chevaliers. The knights, basically. Avec le their personnel. Uh, and their staff. Three hundred persons vivant uh, live here. Yeah, it uh, was a protected village. And then there was the interiors of the Maison, blah blah. It's uh, 12 blah, blah. Met meters of high. So it would have been a big, tall building. You've also got dungeons, what looks of it. Built into the rock. Yeah, so the poorer you were, the less, obviously, the less you had. Yeah. Quite cool, though. Yeah. See that down there? I have some uh, The good thing, we came today, because it's Monday, uh, on... Uh, Saturday and Sunday was we were camped nearby and it was full of people. So today we have the place for ourselves, the whole entire thing. It's really good. Yeah, no. we've only seen one other couple and they were just here exercising. Oh, no, I can't understand why. It's a bit of a climb. <laughs> Underground chambers. Yeah, it's, it's a big site. Very big site. Beautiful spot though.
unfit. Busy, busy, busy. I love old castles. Anyway, I'll say goodbye here for now. We'll catch up with you later. beautiful spot and then you find this tissue paper why did they leave tissue paper I understand they haven't had a wee in the nature but just take your tissue paper home put it in your pocket why oh, tissue? yeah no. tissue don't get it I love it I love being in the nature. Absolutely beautiful. We're currently at a point where the two rivers meet, which is why the castle was quite well defended, which is why it was torn down in the end, because nobody could uh, attack the castle. But it's actually two rivers that meet here. You've got the Briance on the right, and here on the left is the Lochiance, I think, or something like that. Probably said it wrong. And yeah, so we're just coming down here to the headland. The river on the left it looks far cleaner than the one on the right. But yeah, I'm just coming up to where they uh, where they meet. I don't know if you can see that in the picture. See the two rivers, one to my right, one to my left. There we are. <laughs> yeah, the one on the left certainly cleaner. I mean, this is beautiful now, but in the summer when all the uh, the leaf is out and you see all the leaves and the trees, it's just fantastic. We've been here a couple of times now. We had a picnic here two years ago for Alex's birthday, which is coming up soon. Um, yeah, and we came here and it was a beautiful, gorgeous day. Like today, it was warm. I did an amazing picnic. Great, love it. Having a rest. So we're gonna head back to Cockervan now. Don't forget to like or subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. <laughs> And uh, we'll catch you in the next one.